Welcome back. So today we'll be talking about a uh, palindrome. Palindrome is actually a word or a set of numbers or a statement that actually reads the same thing if spelled both backward and forward. So that's palindrome. We are going to write a little algorithm um, with C sharp that can read if a, a word is actually a palindrome. Like madam, if you spell madam both forward and backward, it's palindrome, right? If you spell um race car both forward and backward is palindrome so and then the program we check if an input word is palindrome or not so we'll be doing that using c sharp and um let's see how it works follow me so like i said palindrome and um, we'll be writing a um, method that can actually you know look into the input user input to see if the word uh, entered is palindrome or not so let's do that real quick. Um, we'll start by creating a, a Boolean method. I mean, we can create any other method, but I like Boolean um, in this um, kind of scenario because it actually checks if it's true or false. So um, let's give that is let's name the method is palindrome. And um, of course, um, because we are expecting an input that we are going to uh, evaluate, right? So I'll be using um, an input there. Uh, let me use, let me name that as input. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to first of all, you know, convert the user input into a character array. So I can just uh, create an array that say um, user input equal to the input dot convert that to character array. So having converted uh, converted that to um, character array then I would like to like um, reverse whatever the input is uh, then I'll use the array dot reverse the user input uh, what I will do next is I'll convert that back to a string I can just um, change that to a string like um, let's see what to do that uh, var reverse equal to user input or I mean we're, we're creating a new string so you know we'll embed the user input into that so the array will be converted back into a string okay now after that what we'll do is we'll check if uh, the condition uh, if the new string which has been reversed is equal to the initial input so if reverse equal to input okay console dot right line this is palindrome okay I think um yeah uh, this should work but we'll eventually test it so this is palindrome return true Um, else so if that pass then it should return true if it doesn't pass, then it should return false. So now let's uh, input, a, a, you know, a, a data there and test it. So I will do a string test equal to let's try madam. That's for the right line. Then I'll be calling the method is palindrome. Then I'll put the test variable in there to test that. Let's read it. Okay, so let's try that. First, we we'll debug it. Uh, before we debug, let's try it first to see if it actually works. Okay. Uh, we are trying madam now. And that should actually work. Okay, this is palindrome. True. You can see that. What if we try something like... um. 
workplace of course this cannot be public one because if you spell it backward it wouldn't be the same anyway so this is not public one okay so that's how it works but debugging it um she show us uh, what actually goes on behind the scene and let's put another breakpoint here and if we try to debug that it comes here so take the variable goes to the method convert it to character array then reverse the old elements convert the element back to string it compares both elements if they're similar if they're not similar it prints out not palindrome and if they're similar it prints out it is palindrome so basically that's how palindrome works if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section and i'll you know um, i mean there are other ways to go about it but to me this is the most efficient and optimized way to go about it so if you have any question or doubt put it in the comment section and i will definitely reply to your um, question and don't forget to share and subscribe to this channel i'll see you guys in the next class